This is the Heta Icon Line Eclipse, which is a whole new range by Heta. And uh, this one sits between their super top of the range, scat line range, and their everyday inspires and ambitions. They do a couple of versions of the Eclipse and a couple of options as well. You can obviously get it in standard form, but this one is a bit more exciting because it has side glass as well. Um, you can get it with a smart log store door if you like the sleek look. You can get it all stone clad as well, which is a fantastic idea. And obviously, you can get it in standard black, but we've gone for the more exciting grey option, just for something a little bit different. And best of all, that doesn't cost anything. This stove does have quite a nice, it's, it's like a sort of half click, so that you can hold the door just ajar when you're lighting. Um, and let's chuck some logs in. I mean, when you're lazy like me, the kindling wants to just sort of stay together in a giant clump and you've got to separate it out. If you don't have air gaps, nothing will work. The key is don't be lazy like me. And then a fire lighter, obviously. So yeah, big fire in there. Um, and that's always the place to start, big fire. And then, you know, once it's up to temperature, you rein it back under control, but start big and then, you know, simmer down from there. So, as I mentioned, then just half click it in so the door's held and um, this vent fully open it because when you close it it needs to be fully open but basically you can ignore it until the, the door is closed. Let's see how we get on. This stove's a bit of a slower starter but once you've got it up to temperature it look, obviously looks fantastic. The door, as you saw, I clicked uh, shut part way through and at this point I tend to we've got three nice dots here and I place the controller on the middle dot uh, and that's just a nice cruising speed. These stoves are entirely focused on wood so there's no grate there's no ash pan obviously there's no tool either but you do get a rather smart Heta branded glove. These types of stoves are convection stoves there are a few benefits to that Things like, um, uh, effectively, it's a stove within a stove. So you've got these outer panels that convect the heat more evenly and more efficiently around a room. They also get less hot, so they're better suited to freestanding situations and they've got smaller distances required around them. And you can get this stove with direct air as well if you need to. This stove runs at 79% efficiency and obviously it's got all the modern approvals, Eco Design, DEFRA, you know, the rest of them. Um, the obvious thing is the glass stays beautifully clean, but the key question is how good is it at staying clean on the side glass? Now, it's all about how you position locks and how you use the thing. Obviously, dry fuel's a must regardless, Right now, as we're filming, I've got one side that's gone a little bit hazy and one side glass that's absolutely spotless. And that is entirely to do with the way I lit the stove. Uh, and actually that side glass is in the process right now of cleaning itself. So it, it can do clean glass. I've run it overnight and you can come down the glass. Yeah, I mean, that's an expert's level to, uh, to achieve come down in the morning and side glass is still clean on a stove that's run overnight. That is not easy to do, but it can do it. Um, the, the key, as I say, is all about how you're positioning locks. I mean, think about it, this type of appliance is sort of wow factor. It's not stack your logs up, jam everything and run it like the clappers. It's one log in the base, look beautiful, control beautifully, and keep everything spotlessly clean. And if you're in that world, it does it superbly because it's a really well-engineered stove. If you do want to push it a little bit further, you need to be on your game, but it can do that as well. Okay, let's start with spillage. Now, 
All stoves can spill smoke when you open them, particularly if right now you've got new fuel on the stove and it's full. Firstly, there's no reason to open it. Don't touch it, there's no reason to. If you're being sensible with this stove, allowing it to burn down, no issue with spillage. If I opened it right now, there definitely would be. But as I say, that's more about what I'm doing rather than the stove. Um, in terms of the controls, this handle is completely stay cool, as is the main control, um, which is obviously nice. It's nice and easy to use. We've got a glove for positioning the logs, but obviously opening it, I can just do with my bare hand, which is very convenient. Um, obviously, the, uh, the key thing from there is how well does it control? Does it, is it still a HETA? This is an Icon line, a new range. We've had Scan line, we've got the HETA Ambition and all the others, but what's this one like? Oh yeah, it's still a HETA. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, and it's still got those HETA sort of whirling crazy flames and I imagine you can feather it as well. It is a, oh yeah, it's, we've got a lot of control here as well. <laughs> we test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature on a load of kiln dried logs, and then we get a net of kiln dried logs and see how long we can maintain operating temperature with just that net. Now, um, this stove actually did a really good job, it achieved 11 and a half hours so 11 to 12 hours was easily possible you if you're in the spirit of the user of or the buyer of this type of appliance this is a showpiece a finishing touch it's not necessarily a functional tool it's 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 way sexier than that you don't you know drive the kids to school in your Ferrari, you know, that'd be mad. This is, this is to look fantastic. And if you're in that spirit, you've got good bed of embers, you put one log on, you open up the air vent, you've got these lovely spilling flames, and particularly with the side glass, sort of showing, giving its light, giving its show everywhere. And you can run it really economically, just on one single log, chugging away, just looking pretty. And it does it superbly well. It's a uh, fuel economy, it's a nine out of 10. Well, you don't get the spectacular Scanline ash pan that if you've seen other reviews of other Heta Scanline stoves, you'll have seen, um, but the control does seem to be right up there on a level. Um, the handle is much more simple um, and you know, maybe not quite as beautifully sexy, um, but I, look, I really like the shove close function. It's just nice and easy to use. Initially, when I thought about this Icon Line series, I thought, you know, in the case of the Eclipse, we've already got the Scan Line 8, which is spectacular and in some ways a better product. So I didn't quite understand what this product was about. Um, but to be fair, this is opening up heta levels of quality to different markets at a lower price. If you're looking for top quality, perfect control, Scandinavian design, and a bargain price, then this Eclipse and heta might be onto a winner here.